That's filthy, disgusting. Oh, I eat. Let's role play. You'll be Matt Damon. I'll be Ben Affleck. I always try to live my life by four simple rules. Number one, whenever things get hectic, I just take my shirt off. That's right. Before I was president of the United States of America, I was governor of the great country of Texas. <laughs> I don't know who went to this place. William Howard Taft, William Jennings Bryan, William Tell, whoever. Their spirit is dead. If they ever had one, it's gone. No one leaves here with the codes. Ah, heavy, great Scott Marty. We're sending you back to the future. If you let my daughter go now, that'll be the end of it. I will not look for you. I will not pursue you. But if you don't, I will look for you. I will find you. What's that? Oh, you don't have my daughter. You have my wife. Now ah, you can keep her. The good thing about being in the band the Kiss, we have lots of merchandise for everyone. It's good to be me. Gorillas and spider monkeys are trying to attack us with rainbow-colored water balloons, and the only way to escape is to jump on top of a chocolate-covered unicorn and ride away with no pants on. Jelly beans roll from one pant leg to the other. Wow! Oof. Look, my love, I've always believed that capitalism is evil. Right? It's why I'm trying to elevate everyone to one stream conscious of love. Or I was trying to start a revolution. Stevie, you idiot! You weren't supposed to do that! Oh, come on, Ren! Happy, happy, joy, joy! Huh? You don't believe me? I used to fight Transformers. Huh? You wanna go? Hi, I'm Kermit the Frog. Hello, I am Miss Piggy, and I was once in a beauty pageant for Donald Trump. He knew my name without me even having to tell him. He said, hey you, Miss Piggy. I said, oh, he knows my name. Stocks are up, unemployment is down, okay? The American people are gonna have a wonderful year. It's gonna be terrific. Believe me, that I can tell you, okay? Hillary would have been a total disaster. Come on, don't bullshit me. I only chew one kind of tobacco. Cole Hagen. Hello, I'm Regis Philbin, and you're watching another episode of Who Wants to Be a Millionaire? Someone asked me, do you carry a gun? I said, yeah, her name is Beth. <laughs> Ha ha ha! Wanna wanna why? Yo, what's up, dog? Hey, yo, Mick, I don't know that. I was. You gotta get back up. <laughs> you have the manners of a god. And you smell like a dung heap. And you have no knowledge whatsoever of your potential. Oh, he's just a cool, cool, cool. He's just. He's like, uh, talking like a baby. That's right. <laughs> hey, babeth. Butthead. Yup, yup. Cornelio! What's your talking, man? Huh? Was you think I just got off the boat yesterday? You're gonna come here for the third time this week and try to tell me that the dog ate your homework? Huh? Is that what you're trying to do? Well, guess what? Say hello to my little red pen! Flunk you! Oh, I'm really mad at my husband, Homer. He threw out all of my Cosmopolitan magazines, so I threw out his stuffed bear. Marge! Oh, I've watched enough of your family members burn. If you're going out, it's the dark night. Don't expect me to be here when you return. Relax, Alfred. I'm just going across town for some Pepto-Bismol. The reason I'm talking like this is because I have severe diarrhea. Well, I eat me spinach. Oh, c -c 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 You're gonna go mess up my hair. I don't know. It's like, what? What? Rocky, Natasha and the Boris are trying to interfere with the election. Ho oh, ho, I hope you had a nice time in the park today. Well, I tell you what, was you could have a I mean, everybody wants to do up and everybody wants to do up and everybody wants to do touchdown. And she was supposed to look like Cindy Crawford, but she ended up looking more like Jack Lemon. Well, it totally sounds like you got crawfished. My name is Maximus Decimus Meridius. Zoinks! Like hey, Scoob. <laughs> I still remember the first time I met John. He walked into the place, he sat down at a piano. I said, you go high, I'll go low, we were harmonizing. I'm Casey Kasem, and it's time for another long distance dedication. I can't handle Republicans, they want dirty air, dirty water, they eat babies, I tell you. I did not know that, that is, 
that is weird, wacky stuff. So President Trump was watching uh, Fox and Friends this morning when uh, it read across the bottom of the screen, President Trump likes Putin, to which President Trump responded, it is fun to poot. And then he got up and went to the bathroom. This is no place for a hobbit. Please don't call me a hobbit. It's, um, it's politically incorrect. Oh, fine then. Annoying dwarf. Well, how about this? Next year, we'll totally do a sequel to John Wick, starring me and Richard Gere. Someone kidnapped my dog. Someone kidnapped this gerbil. We have to get revenge. Excellent. <laughs> Welcome back, everyone. You're listening to Talent on Loan from God. This is the Rush Limbaugh Show, the EIB Network. Everything is Hillary Clinton's fault. How long am I supposed to hold this baby? Sharon! I'm very sorry, Ozzy. I can't help you today. I have to go do a rip-off of The View. And then I've got to go to do Howard Stern. Hi, I'm Ray Romano. Yeah, sure. Yeah, I don't care, really, to be honest with you. I'm supposed to be Tony Stark, okay? I thought this interview was supposed to be about superheroes. Yes, well, it is very difficult to be a part of society when no one can understand what it is you're mumbling. 